हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ एस बी डॉट नेट वेब ए इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस हाउ टू परफॉर्म पुट पोस्ट एंड डिलीट एक्शन मेथड्स यूजिंग ए एंड हाउ टू टेस्ट दिस पर एक्शन रिजल्ट इन फिडलर सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट थ्री प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट थ्री ऑफ एस बी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई दैट इज यूजिंग फिडलर टू टेस्ट एस बी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई दैट इज एस टी टी पी गेट भॉर एंड इन दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस अबाउट पुट पोस्ट एंड डिलीट सो वट इज वट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन दिस सेशन दैट इज वट इज एस टी टी पी पुट पोस्ट एंड डिलीट भॉर्स एंड हाउ वट इज द स्टाटस को टू जीरो फोर नो कॉन्टेंट परफॉर्म पोस्ट पुट एंड डिलीट एक्शन यूजिंग फिडलर सो पुट पोस्ट एंड डिलीट इज नथिंग बट पुट फॉर अपडेट द एग्जिस्टिंग स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू पोस्ट इज क्रिएटिंग ए न्यू स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू एंड डिलीट इज टू डिलीट द एग्जिस्टिंग स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू यूजिंग द आई डी सो हियर इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एस टी टी पी गेट मेथड वन इज गेट एंड अनदर वन इज गेट विथ आई डी पैरामीटर दिस इज द ओवर लोडेड वर्सन ऑफ गेट method of uh, sp.net web api so what i'll do for post so use the post method uh, we'll create the new one so the code should be public and void void the return type and post is the method name and the parameter we need to pass here so parameter should be the uh we need to pass here that is from body and from body we need to uh, add the string value right so after then we'll add here okay this method has value parameter which uh, type is string so whatever string i passed so it will add it to the string uh, static variable right here the static variable here so uh, the code should be string dot add strings strings dot add and inside i'll add this value right and put the semicolon here so this attribute is required because we whenever we create any new value or delete or uh, update any Of existing value, so in the from body we need to pass the values so that we have we need to mention here the from body attribute with string value. And the same way, what I'll do here for update update the string, I use the method called put. And here the code should be I just copy this one to save the time, and paste here. And here what I'll do put. put method and here i what i'll do i'll add one more parameter called int id right Be because based on id we'll uh, update the uh, you know string value right and here okay and here what i'll do i'll pass that strings of id equal to value right here uh copy this one yeah so here what i did is this method got two parameters one is id based on id we update the value and here i use the id as index so and we update the item of that index position with with this new value so which is coming in as parameter right so based on id whatever uh, string value will uh, will add in the body part so it will update so after then this value will be assigned to the index position of id okay now next one is so for delete we use the method called delete action method so this method i'll mention here the code for the delete so public uh, void 
and the action is delete and here I'll pass the ID parameter and here I'll add one remove remove art method strings dot right strings dot remove art and wh what I'll pass here I'll pass the ID and based on ID it will delete or remove that particular item so this method has one parameter that is the ID using this ID we delete the item at this specified index position all right so this is all about post put and delete this is the sample example of how sp.net web api performs the http http put post and delete action okay and what i'll do now i'll i'll uh, you know build it, build the solution and i'll run that application here So build is succeeded. After then, I will run my web API here. So here, guys, what I'll do, I'll navigate to my API with controller name. So API values. And press enter. Now we can see the. Uh, you know three values satya 0 1 and 2 so that part i already have discussed in my previous video so i copy that url and go to my uh, fiddler and remove some uh, urls here right so it's not required and i'll go to the composer tab here and paste that url right and before that what i'll do i just uh, refresh this so that i will get in the you know request url in my definition in my uh, no this one in my fiddler so what i'll do i'll just drag and drop here so i i get some information here right okay so what i'll do i'll perform the post operation in the api so what i'll do i'll mention here content type and content type here application forward slash json okay so so content type application for slash, slash json after then i execute this so before that what i'll do here I, it is selected as get to for from the post operation i'll select here as post so that the request body is activated here so what i'll do i'll add the new value so satya new and after then what I'll do I'll go to execute it before that I just remove all these things and execute this okay now what I'll do here guys here you can see 204 right one uh, upper one you can see one uh, result is generated 204 HTTP value so I click here and you can see here i go to the raw here i got some information here right and here you can see if i go to the json uh, xml okay now go to header so i can see that one new value is added to the static variable that is json equal to satya new all right and i get the response header as 204 no content and why it is i'll i'll tell you in the end of that ses end of this session so i'll go to the composer tab so how to check this value is uh, reflect or not in my uh, you know in my get uh, in my get request so i select here get and here i'll execute that before that i just remove all these things and execute it so you can see that uh, one xml is generated right so i want not xml i want here as uh, you know i want here 
as XML uh, JSON. So what I'll do, I just remove all these things. Okay, so before that, copy this one and go here, remove this part, okay, and execute it. Oh, it is still not, it is showing XML. So what I'll do here, I just remove all these things, copy this part, remove accept. So by default, it is coming as text underscore HTML, uh, HTML and application dot xml right so for that i want json so inside accept section i remove these things and paste here that is application uh, forward slash json and content type application forward slash json so after then i'll re remove all these things and execute it oh now you can see one json request uh, response is getting so i double click here and i can see in json i have four string values satya 0 1 2 and new so recently i have added right so it has been added successfully to my static variable so if i'll go to header i am getting 200 okay because it is a get request okay same way what i'll do i'll perform the put operation so i'll select here as put okay and here in re in request body uh, also for which uh, index position I want to update so we have remembered that uh, for 0 1 2 3 so 0 is okay I'll before that I'll tell you I go to request get request and execute it and here I'll uh, show you that index position of Satya 0 is 0 Satya 1 is 1, Satya 2 is 2, Satya new is 3. So in put, in put operation, I want to update this Satya new to someone th something else. So I'll go to this one, my composer tab, put. Uh, so for index position 3, I want to update. So instead of Satya new, I want to update from Satya new to Satya update, right? So in, for index position 3, the existing string will update it to Satya update here. I want to JSON here and, and I want to remove all these things and execute it. So guys, here I, I can see one response is getting. So I, I click this one. I got the uh, uh, status code is 204, no, no content. And you can see in the headers, I have got one uh, response that is JSON Satya update, update is found for the index position 3. So what I'll do here, I want to check that value. So select here get, and remove this and I will remove that also for 3 position. And here I remove all these things, right? And here I execute it. So I have got one JSON response. So guys here can see for index position three, it is updated from Satya new to Satya update. Okay, my last uh, action is delete. So for that, I want to select here as delete. So for what index position I want to delete is index position three. So that means Satya update will be, Satya update string will be removed from the list. So here I'll, I'll mention here, Satya three here and response type is json remove these things and I, I'll, ex I'll execute here so i got the response and i can see 204 no content and in the header i can see this uh, this uh, you know id3 is removed so i'll go to you know a raw data i got some informations here to json okay and i'll go to header right so what I'll do here, I'll check in the composer, go to composer tab and I'll see here whether this item is deleted or not. So I'll perform the get operation and I'll remove this index position three and I'll remove all these things and execute it. I got the JSON response, select here and guys here, here you can see that the JSON response is Satya 0, 1 and 2, the index position 3, the item that is Satya update is removed successfully after performing the delete action from using web API. 
so in this way we can perform post put and delete http action using a uh, web api and we can test using fiddler uh, also using filter we can test the get put post and delete action is in web api and for that remember a most important thing is we need to content type application forward slash json for push put post and delete operation and accept 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 method we need to mention here as application underscore json so these three th two things are very much very much important when we perform the action method about put post and delete in web api so i'll go to my presentation here so what is status code 204 no content so post put delete method in our values controller are returning void so that is the reason we are getting status code 204 no content and an action that returns void will send status code 204 no content so with web api sp.net web api we can control what status code these methods will return so in this video we have discussed about what is a put post and delete http verbs and what is status code 204 no content and how to perform post put and delete action using fiddler so this is my youtube channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on dot net dot and co c sharp sql server angular and devops and github so that's all for today guys thank you for listening have a great day